Hi there. My name is Dwayne Gleason, Product Manager for Vico Office, part of the Trimble Buildings portfolio. Today I want to introduce you to release 4.7 of Vico Office. 4.7 has been packed full of new features based on your feedback. We've made improvements to LBS Manager, Model Register, Document Controller, the 3D View, Takeoff Manager, and Cost Planner. We're going to cruise through everything pretty quick, so hang on tight. Let's get started. The first feature we're going to take a look at today will be location copying. Location copying is a real time saver for anyone working on repetitive buildings such as a condominium or an office tower project like this one. Begin by creating locations just as you normally would. Here I'll split the two towers in half. After you've created your first location, right click on the parent level and choose copy locations. Next, right click on levels above and choose paste locations. This can be done as many times as needed to complete your entire LBS. As with all changes made to the LBS, the project model should be reactivated after location copying. Begin by pressing and holding the control key and selecting each model inside your project. Next, choose change activation settings. Notice here that we've selected SketchUp, Tecla, Revit, Archicad, and IFC models all inside of the same project at once. Here's where we define our takeoff item creation for further linking to the estimate. I'm going to save the settings, click OK, and then choose Activate Selected Models to begin the requantification process. Now, I'm ready to use the drag and drop functionality that's been added in between the document register and the project reference plane palette. But first, I need to create a couple reference planes to get started. I can use the existing project LBS as a quick way to get this done. Choosing LBS gives me a list of all the project levels and I'm going to select just a couple to get going here. After I click OK, Notice that all the reference planes are created in the palette on the right. Now, I'm ready to map some of my 2D documents onto those reference planes. I've created some tags to make this a little bit easier, so I want to expose those. Here I've got tags for the location and the typical floors that a drawing might apply to. With these tags, I can now run a quick filter on there to find just drawings for the second floor. Next, I drag those drawings over to the second floor reference plane palette. You can see that they've gotten there when I get the plus sign next to the second floor reference plane. I'm going to clear that filter, and now I'm going to use a filter for some typical floors. Here we can see where a single drawing needs to be mapped to multiple reference planes to recognize those typical floor layouts. After that, I'm ready to use the new document scaling feature that's been added. This allows me to quickly and accurately input the print scale onto the documents to make the 3D alignment process a little bit easier. Now let's take a look at the tag functionality that's been added to Takeoff Manager. Tags are a really great way to add any data field that you wish to Vico Office and help with sorting and grouping within the user interface in the reporting engine. This project has some tags in place for the uniformat and I'm going to add some additional tags for my model progression spec. My takeoff item list for this project is pretty long so I want to filter by just the A10 foundations. I'm also going to find that here in my cost plan. Next, I'm going to right select on a line item and isolate it to see what level of detail it was modeled to according to my MPS. I can see that this was modeled at an LOD 200, so I'm going to enter that tag value right into my takeoff manager. Now, I can drag and drop the desired quantity right from takeoff manager into my cost plan. Here I'll investigate another element, see that it was modeled to an LOD 100 and input that tag value. And again, I can drag and drop the takeoff quantity directly into my cost plan. So those are just some of the new features that you can find in R4.7. If you'd like to learn more, check out our website, 
stay in touch with our blog, or catch us on YouTube where you can find lots of helpful training videos. That's it for today.